in a complete system. Uh, got the basement. Um, there's a door that's in the back of the house. It should be coming down the steps. Uh, breaker box is back here to the right. One thing I can see uh, it's a GE box. This is a double pole 30. Right here, and that's the only double pole I see. Well, right above it's a 30, two double pole 30s. So, and the box is not marked. Well, yeah, it is. Let's see. Okay. So, looks like that top one is the. Double pole 30. Then the unit itself is over here. The basement was flooded. Uh, needs to replace the water heater, furnace, and AC because the AC outside was also underwater. Uh, we got three quarter inch copper on this. Uh, there's a tank there. It's a 40 gallon tall. I probably need a short because it's very tight. I guess she can do it tall. I'll measure that, put it on the order. Um, and then the unit itself from the back, there's the line set that we put in. Comes up here, wraps and goes out back over there. Condensation line was laying on the floor over here. Um, coil was not in bad shape. The furnace was underwater. Uh, the coil might have been too. Uh, probably was. And then the unit outside was underwater. Uh, the gas line, I just shut it and the water heater off a second ago. That I'd replace this black pipe probably up there if you can and then separate and fix that with a drip edge or drip leg it's all rusted on the inside uh, return coming straight down hooks into this there so if anything might be able to scoot the furnace itself to the right doing the water heater everything to the right and open up space for the five inch media in there uh flu you got a four a three on the water heater into a five going up i put five that might be a six flu liner up there the plenum is coming up straight and it goes right into this supply it does taper to fit this. This is a 19 inch wide supply trunk.